Alistair Cook tapped out his letters from America on one. Frederick Forsyth and Cormac McCarthy wouldn't use anything else for their novels. They might be a bit inky, inky and clunky, but it would seem there is a strong retro demand for good old-fashioned typewriters. George Blackman from Becht Hill has one of the very few typewriter repair workshops left in the country, and he says demand has recently shot up. He's even been asked to mend machines for a Hollywood movie. Bryony McKenzie reports. It's reckoned that something like a quarter of a million take up shorthand every year, and roughly the same number learn to type. The famous typing pools of the 60s were the practical, noisy heart of thriving business. That era has gone. But what's tickling George Blackman is the classic manual typewriter with ribbon and bell is back. And he's the only person for miles who knows what to do with them. It's very amusing. I mean, I... I let lots of typewriters go through my hands over the years, which I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I've seen ones in junk shops for 50 pounds that I've thrown away. In fact, George gets orders from all over the world. Author Malcolm Muggeridge is a client and he recently got a call from Hollywood to overhaul a German typewriter for the new X-Men film. It's like um, saying um, you go and buy an electric clock. What is that? It's rubbish, isn't it? Now, I went to, I'm, I'm keen on... Um, <laughs> Uh, well, I'm keen on antique clocks, I've got a few, and um, I went to a clock maker's shop and it's got on it, get something living today, wind a clock, you know, not instead of plugging it in with a battery, and this is this, they're like a living thing, they, they're, they're delicate things that interact with the, the ribbon movements and the spacing and the escapement, they're all um, interconnected. Modern day keyboards are based on the QWERTY layout design so typewriter keys next to each other didn't stick. The first typewriters were manufactured in the 1890s and by 1901 there were 166,000 typists across the country where typos like mine weren't accepted. Oh. From the boxy word processor to giant computers and the new sleek iPad, George says a lot of people want typewriters just for show, regardless he still thinks they're worth the TLC. Bryony McKenzie, BBC South East Today, Bex Hill. It's a very satisfying sound, isn't it? Is, it is, it is.